All right, so we're going to look at stories again in this one, but this time we're looking at the story from a velocity perspective. So like the position ones, we start at the left, like we're reading a book, we're starting at the stopwatch, it's at zero. What is happening here? Well, it looks like at the beginning, the velocity is zero. So that tells us the first thing that's happening is the object is not moving. So it's not moving because its velocity is zero. And it appears to not be moving for, again, I, I didn't really label the axis here. Um, but that would be about five seconds if each block is one second. Then all of a sudden it appears to be moving. Now it has a positive velocity here. Again, I didn't label this, but let's assume this is two. So the object now is moving. And since the velocity is positive, we can say it's moving right. And again, I'm going to say it's two meters per second. I really should have labeled these axes. Now, it's technically impossible to go from zero to two immediately. We'll talk more about that in a future video. But let's assume it's possible in this case. So for the next one, two, three, four, five, six seconds, it's going at two meters per second. So it travels to the right for a little bit of time. And then all of a sudden, its velocity is zero again. So the third step here is the object has stopped moving. So that is the story we get out of this. So an object is not moving, now it's moving right, and then it stops. And so again, that's how you read this from left to right. Let's do one more. All right, so what is happening to the object in this situation? So at the beginning, it's moving to the right. It's got a positive velocity. So it's moving right because it has a positive velocity. And again, I should have labeled. I'm going to say it's about 2 meters per second, even though this should be labeled, but let's say it is. And then all of a sudden, it goes from moving right to, this is a negative velocity, now all of a sudden it's moving left. So it goes from moving right to moving left. Again, this is impossible to do in an instant, um, but assuming it is possible, now it's moving left at 3. So it goes from moving right at 2 to moving left at 3, and it does that for some time. And then the third thing that happens here, oh, it's at 0 again, so now it has stopped. So again, the velocity versus time graph is telling you what its velocity or you know speed in some cases, you know, the speed, you can still get the speed from these graphs. The velocity just tells you which direction it's moving. So here its speed is two meters per second, again, assuming my label. Here its speed is three. Speed, remember, has no sign. But if the velocity, if we're up here, we're moving to the right. If your velocity is down below the line, we're moving to the left. So that's sort of how we're interpreting this. Again, so uh, future graphs, I need to just give better axes, got to label them. But that's how we get a story from a velocity versus time graph. So till next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.